Can an old school support new learning? Hmm. Mari High School is the oldest in Norfolk, and the school division has to decide if they should renovate or build a whole new school. Today on your side, Stephanie Harris spoke with an administrator and the man leading the architecture team about the possibilities for the future. Yeah, you guys should. Maury isn't just an old school, it's historic, and a lot of people feel really, really strongly about preserving it and its identity. The cost for this school building, $250,000 to build it in 1910. Well, I'm told brand new high schools being built today cost upwards of $80 million. So, do you fix what you've got or do you go brand new? They just don't make them like Maury High School anymore. But look closely at the architecture and you'll see this beautiful old building is showing her age with braces holding up the cornices outside and inside peeling paint and crumbling plaster. So right now what we're doing is we're reimagining what Maury could look like. But they're not surveying buildings or blueprints to figure it out. They're looking at learning. You build a school building around an instructional program and not vice versa. You build the building and then you try to fit the instructional program into the building because the needs may not be the same. Through a series of school tours, meetings with teachers, students, and the community, architects are developing a vision for what future learning will look like. And also to begin to describe in words and pictures how space should be designed to provide and, and support that is desired types of learning activities. Architect Mike Ross says schools he designs now have multi-purpose rooms of varying sizes to accommodate more mobile learning and technology. Once they figure out how Maury should look to support the kind of learning the community wants, the next phase would be to decide if this old building could support it. Depends on the bones of the building, and I think this particular building has pretty good bones. Or if they'll need to start from scratch. We have absolutely no plans to do anything um, in, in the immediate future. So the results of this first phase will be going to the school board in June and then they'll decide whether to move on to phase two. Now, here's how you can get involved. There's a community meeting on Thursday night from 6 to 730 at Maury High School. You'll hear from the folks who are developing this vision and there will be time for your input too. Stephanie Harris, Ted on your side.